What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Andre, if you haven't already uh, figured that out. Um, I don't know if I should really say my name anymore. I think if you watched a few of my videos, you should probably know what my name is, right? Uh, but I'm off to go cast my vote. I feel like sp speeding a little bit for some reason. Uh, but yeah, I gotta go cast my vote. Elections today. There's lastly to vote, so I gotta make it count. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Andre. If you haven't already uh, figured that out, um, I don't know if I should really even say my name anymore. I think if you watched a few of my videos, you should probably know what my name is, right? Uh, but I'm off to go cast my vote. I feel like a little bit for some reason uh, but yeah I gotta go cast my vote elections today there's last day to vote so I gotta make it count yeah this uh, this story I was talking about uh, so at the gym you know we were we work out all the time and this and that you know there's gonna be males there's females in the gym and one of my buddies there uh, he's been drooling over this girl for the past few days there like I think for the past two days and um, no doubt about it, she's a very good looking girl. Uh, but he's been drooling over her like, like crazy. And yesterday, uh, yesterday he was like, yeah, you know what, if she, she comes here today, uh, I'm going to talk to her, I'm going to talk to her. Uh, I want to go ask her for a number or whatever. And so funny story today, we come to the gym and we're working out for a bit. She's not there yet, not there yet. About three quarters of the way through our routine, uh, she comes, she arrives. And he's like, oh my gosh, she's here. And his ball is just shrink right up to his throat. It's like, yep, you're not gonna talk to her today. No chance. Um, so then after that, like, you know, like, uh, we're thinking about him. We're like, we're talking with him. And, um, you know, everybody says, you know, you all you need, need is confidence uh, to, to pick up a girl. Everything, all you need is uh, confidence to talk to a girl and that's it. Uh, but what do you guys think? Is there a stigma to pick up a girl at the gym? Is it weird? Uh, to go up to a girl and say, hey, how's it going? Uh, how are you doing? Whatever. If you compliment her at the gym or she has her headphones in, uh, obviously you gotta wait until she's done her set. Before, like, either she's moving from one machine to the machine or she, she sits down or she takes a break, whatever. Um, that's definitely where you wanna do it. Uh, but what advice would you guys give them, honestly? Uh, personally, I think, I mean, just go with it. You know what? What's the worst that can happen, right? Uh, she'll say no, and you'll go back to your other workouts, or she'll be like, uh, weird, or she won't say anything, you know what? It could be either or, and, uh, but you never know until you find out, right? She could also say, oh, hey, yeah, you know, I think you're cute, whatever. Uh, she might be a little bit chatty. You don't know until you find out. And I honestly think it's like, what harm done, uh, well, yeah, there's no harm done if you don't, uh, if, uh, if you ask. She might just say no. Something is up with that E-Class. Holy shit. There's got a... Like a two fists full of wheel gap. What the hell? Either that guy either raised it. I don't know why you would raise an E-Class. Uh, his suspension is messed up. Or... I don't know. That's just really, really weird. That's a lot of wheel gap there. What the heck? That just, that's messed. That just threw me totally off my story. Uh, that's the one thing you guys will notice. If I see cars, that those ask, something is up with cars, like these fancy cars, it throws me off my story almost instantaneously. I'm the car guy, that's what happens, I guess. But, damn, like, what the heck?
All right, so I just voted. That was very, very fast. I think two, three minutes. There's almost no lineup, which is nice. Uh, but it looks like a lot of people did vote. <clears throat> and I saw the lady had this massive sheet, all these numbers, whatever. And a lot of numbers on that sheet were crossed off. Like she was looking through the booklet for my number. And a lot of numbers were crossed off. Probably I would say 80, you know, like 60%, 65. So I'm surprised a lot of people actually voted today, which is good. It's really well. Um, you know, I think uh, if, if you have an election in your uh, your city, your province, your state, your country, whatever, you should always vote. Because uh, every vote, vote counts, really. Every vote counts. Uh, now it is time to go home. I just hope I can get out of here with fairly, with a good amount of ease. I don't know why you're trying to turn left here, but some people. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go faster. I need to get out of this damn intersection. Okay, this guy. Come on, Buick, go, 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 okay. There we go, there we go. So who is watching the playoffs? And if you are, what is your favorite team? Make sure to comment below, that's for sure. Um, let's see, I'm originally from Europe and uh, I got into hockey probably about when I, when I came here, maybe a few years after that. Uh, but even today, nowadays, um, I don't watch that much hockey uh, during, during, well, during the regular season. I'll watch the, a few games here and there. Uh, I won't watch every game of my team, uh, uh, but I watch I watch a lot of the games. Not not every game, that's for sure. And I won't keep up to it. You know, we had a we did a hockey pool this uh, this week. And the thing I hate about it is we did we did a rotisserie pool. Oh, absolutely retarded. I never played rotisserie. Most people on our pool did not play rotisserie, but the person who made that pool made a rotisserie because he knew how to win that pool. So we pretty much just got scammed twenty bucks out of our thing because we just wanted to make it nice and low so next pool is going to be uh, head to head because that's honestly I think that's going to be the best way uh, to, to do a fantasy hockey pool but aside, aside from that uh, you know hockey is a great sport I gotta say it's a very challenging sport and I give props to people who do play it uh, it takes a lot of skill to to play hockey even though you know it's uh, 20 minute periods 20 minute periods yeah yeah 20 minute periods I think. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just thinking hockey and soccer and basketball at once, whatever. But yeah, yeah, 20 minute periods and uh, three periods. And it's a tough sport to play because uh, you're always moving, you're always ever changing and moving left, right, front, back. You you burst on the speed, you gotta stop, you gotta hit, you gotta deke, you gotta do this. Now it's a tough, it's a very tough sport uh, to play, I gotta say. Very tough. Uh, I'd love to learn how to play more of it. I don't know how to skate. Uh, I don't know how to play hockey a little bit. Not uh, to the extent that I would play for even like a junior team. No way. Or like any team, any small team. Not that good. Uh, I mostly, you see, I grew up uh, with soccer. And uh, I grew up watching soccer. grew up playing uh, soccer when I was a kid. Uh, my bare feet, balls in the sand, this and that. Always, and I always love soccer. I love soccer to this day. Uh, but I didn't play it for for a few years, even when I came to Canada. I didn't play it once, not even uh, like on a, on a school level, like on a team, a school team. Uh, during school, actually, like when my junior years, my senior years, I played a lot of uh, volleyball. Actually, surprising, I, I never really played volleyball until I got here. I played lots of volleyball here. I love, I, love, I love that sport, but one uh, what really got me to back into soccer here is uh, I dated, I, dated uh, I dated a girl here probably about two years ago now, maybe three. We dated, we dated for a bit, uh, I think for about a year and a half, and uh, she was from the same origin as I was, which was nice. Same language speaking, families, this and that. Uh, it was really nice. Uh, she had a great family, great sister, great dog, everything. Family was great. 
uh, and it was uh, it was tough letting go, you know. But we we both had our differences. We both went different ways, and it's uh, it's for the best now. You never know what life's gonna bring you in the long run, but not much you can do. Uh, but here's the funny story about that. Because uh, she always said that, you know, I was a little guy, you know, and she said, you need to work out more, you need to play sports or whatever. And I was like, yeah, you know, uh, I'll, I'll think about it, I'll get into sports, whatever. Uh, and she had this best friend, uh, and her best friend, this guy named John, uh, he played soccer all the time. Uh, and he's pretty good, he's, he's a really good player, you know, he's, uh, he's more of a defensive midfield uh, player. But he, he's good. And she, he was her best friend at the time. And he was he was dating a girl. Oh, I think now about almost five six years now. I think uh, quite a while. And they were best friends. And she was like, "Oh, hey, you know what? He loves soccer. You like soccer. You guys should be good friends. It'd be awesome if you guys were good friends. It'd be awesome. It'd be so good because we can all hang out. We can go on double dates, whatever." And the first thought of thought of that, I was like, "You know what? Cool. That'd be cool. It'd be fun." Uh, so we all went on a double date. And uh, us both of us guys were like, "You know what? Like, you know what? Yeah, this guy's cool." Uh, John school uh, same interest whatever but you know what if you're gonna force me to be somebody's friend I'm probably won't, won't, wouldn't want to be their friend we were both like yeah you know what okay cool who is this guy he's uh, a friend of uh, he's a guy friend of the girl that I'm meeting so it's kind of like yeah I don't really know if I want to be your friend or whatever that's a little bit weird uh, at first that's what I thought uh, but either way you know what I started playing soccer uh, got to know the guy a little bit we're still like you know what we're on that level kind of you know we're kind of friends kind of we're not friends we're like uh, what's that word? Acquaintances, soccer acquaintances, soccer teammates, let's say. Uh, but then things kind of went a little bit downhill. Me and her, things went weird. Um, she broke up with me. I will admit that uh, she did end it. Um, I was kind of uh, bummed out about it for sure. I did feel uh, feel pretty bad uh, because you know it was it was my first like real serious relationship. It was it was a good relationship too. I would think. Um, there were, of course, things that I did wrong, things that she did wrong that people could work on. But aside from that, it was good. Um, but yeah, things went downhill. Um, and we broke up. And then uh, me and him became pretty much some of the, one of the best of friends. And it was the funniest thing because she would see that and she's like, what the hell? She would hate that. And if she's watching, if you're watching these videos, sorry, I'm going to tell it how it is. Uh, I do apologize if this offends you or whatever, but it is what it is. You know what? Me and him became the, some of the closest friends ever. Um, we spent a lot of time together. We had great interests, same interests. We just became the best of friends. Uh, had so much in common. We spent lots of time together, hung out lots together. Uh, and she absolutely hated it because that's exactly what she wanted. Uh, but she never got that. We broke up and then that's exactly what happened with um, him and my buddy John and I. Uh, so that was, that, was, uh, that was a funny thing to see and just uh, talk about all the time. But you know what? Uh, even to date, to, to date, we're still uh, pretty damn good friends. Um, even though you know he's he's uh, he's in school right now, uh, and I'm already done school, I'm just working, so I have much more free time uh, than he does. And I'm single too, so I have a lot more free time than he does for sure. But you know what? Even though uh, we're still we're still good friends, we won't see each other for a month, whatever. We'll still chat here and there. Uh, but we're still great friends. That's, that's the thing I find about guys is you can... Uh, one thing you'll notice about guys, like our friendship between different guys is... Yeah, you know, I won't see you for a month. I might talk to you once every few weeks. But we're still really tight and close friends. But maybe it's different for girls. I, I always see, like, well, I guess from my point of view, is girls, when they're friends, they either always talk or they talk every, every few days. But they don't see each other for a while. It's kind of like, oh, hey, I don't know you anymore or... You're different, but don't hate on me on that. That's just what I see. It's my personal opinion, honestly. I could be wrong about that. So, uh, but you know, stuff happened uh, between me and uh, my uh, previous girl girlfriend. Uh, and that happened. Uh, but then I did another one, actually. I actually waited, uh, I think, about a year until I got back into the dating game. And um, I met a girl on, uh, on an online dating site. And it wasn't like plenty of fish or anything. Trust me, I was on there. I was on plenty of fish. I was on OK Cupid, whatever. You get that time when you're like, okay, you know, what? I want to get a girl, and I don't have time to meet outside because I'm thinking I'm busy because I'm always working. But I only actually have a lot of free time after work, so it's weird. Uh, but I was like, you know what? I signed up for Match.com. Uh, I got that six months uh, discount, whatever. I was like, okay, cool, I sign up. 
and within two days this girl messaged me and she she was gorgeous she was she was a great girl you know what uh we chatted quite a bit for uh from my time we chatted i think for a few days we chatted for two or three days and then i was gonna ask her like you know i was at work i was like you know what i want to ask this girl on a date and i look at my phone i got a message and she says and she messages me she asks me out on a date she says because she doesn't want to just play games she doesn't want to just talk and match she wants to you know be and name make it a face-to-face -face thing i was like yeah i was like wow that's awesome this is this is this is sweet uh so we went on a date uh pretty good pretty good dates here and there and uh i think i kind of rushed a little bit the first uh because i was like oh you know what so uh i asked i don't remember exactly what i said but it's kind of like you know you like you want to you want to be you want to date now whatever um she says then i think she said something like oh well you don't do like okay let's say we had a make out session we had a you know, like, few little kisses here and there i don't want to kiss and tell i guess whatever uh but she says i said like yeah you don't you don't do this with your friends do you and i was like no so i took it that in the way of yeah yes you know i'm going to date you kind of thing that's what I took it as. Uh, but on the other hand, that's not what she meant. She meant as, a, as a, like, you know, let's take things slow. And if things work out well, we can, we can date each other, whatever. We can look into that. I was like, you know what? Okay, that's fine. You know what? She was she, very smart about it, how she did it. Because, you know, she invited me over to her house. We chatted. Um, and uh, she asked me about it because she saw that I changed my Facebook status. She was kind of like thrown off a little bit by it. By it. And by we sat down face to face as adults and we both talked about it and I told her, you know what, that's what I saw, that's what she portrayed when I, that's what I understood. And she told me what she meant, so I was like, that's understandable, you know what, that same day I changed my Facebook status and uh, how's that woman looking at me for, like, I'm crazy. What are you looking at me for? God damn. Yeah, look away, freak. <laughs> but yeah, she thought, uh, God, I lost my track of mind again. Break. Um, what was I talking? Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. So we talked about like adults and uh, we got along fine with it. You know, I changed, I changed my Facebook status the same day, right when I got home. And we went slow. We talked about it, this and that. Uh, we hung hands, and uh, that's mostly what I got it for. Just to play a few games with my friends here and there, and play, play lots of FIFA actually. Play out FIFA, NHL here and there, that kind of stuff. So, one game that I am actually looking forward to uh, this year is uh, Project Cars. Project Cars looks like an amazing game, and all because you know it was developed by gamers for gamers, for by r gamers who play racing games, for people who love racing games, uh, and it was even uh, dealt with people like professional race car drivers. Uh, the graphics are amazing. Graphics look amazing. The game, uh, the details, the physics. Oh, excuse me, you're showing. Everything looks amazing. That's the thing. Absolutely amazing. So, that game I will for sure be getting. No hands, hands down. But yeah. Some of you guys might ask, uh, um, why do I do vlogs? Why did I end up getting myself a GoPro and try vlogs and this and that? Uh, well, it's mostly because, you know, I love driving. Uh, I love driving in general anywhere. If it's from my house to a coffee shop, to work, or this and that, uh, whatever it might be, uh, I just enjoy spending time in the car and driving and driving and driving. Um, and uh, I always really looked at vlogs. I've never seen too many uh, car vloggers. Um, especially, the only person I do remember is the Slap Train. The Slap Train, I've watched a lot of his uh, videos, the game's gaming videos, whatever. He's an awesome guy. Um, and I watched a lot of his uh, car vlogs in his G35. Um, great guy, great guy, great stories. Uh, the guy's a bit of a gong show. Uh, I love the way he reacts to traffic, that's for sure. Other people that I, I mostly uh, watch vloggers like uh, do it, do it with Dan, do it, do it with uh, I can't speak today. God, I mean, he's been speaking too much already. Uh, do it with Dan, uh, Walterific, uh, Six Foot Honda, uh, Suburban Delinquent, those kind of guys, Snowcat from Calgary. 
not too far away, man. If you're watching this video, I'm gonna come down uh, to Calgary, and don't worry, I'm not a bad, I won't be a bad driver. And a good thing I don't have HID, so I won't blind you either. So, uh, but I watch these guys' videos all the time, uh, and I always, on almost on a daily basis, I watched uh, the ones I always watch now is Do It With Dan, uh, Walt Terrific, and Snowcat. Those are my three favorite ones. Uh, I still keep up with Slap Train every once in a while when he posts uh, his Forza video videos here and there. Uh, there's a lot of YouTubers that I watch. Uh, even like uh, the crew, uh, the guys like Jehovah, Jehovah's Witness, and D4, Deluxe, Speedy, all those guys. You know what, those guys, that whole, that group mainly, I'll say the guys from the crew, Do With Dan, Walterific, Suburban Delinquent, uh, six foot four Honda, uh, Snowcat, and Slap Train. These are the guys that got me into being more active on YouTube. Because you probably, if you look back, my videos were always just gaming videos, and I post them uh, one like every few weeks or one every, one every few months, maybe. And I was like, you know what? I love doing this this stuff. Uh, I love driving. And I love chatting with people. That's what my job is. I love, I connect with different people around my campus. Uh, and uh, get to know them and I absolutely love that and to combine that with uh, car driving is perfect and this gives me the chance to get to know you guys so please comment as much as you want comment on whatever we'll, I'll chat get, uh, talk to about with you guys but let me know what you want me to talk about let me know if you want to hear my opinion or whatever uh, this and that uh, I want to make this YouTube channel grow um, I'm not I don't give up very easily uh, and when I put my thing my head to it, you know, if I try to do something, I keep going until it's success. It's successful. Until you, uh, but you know, sometimes YouTube channels can't be that successful, right? But it happens. But yeah, those are the guys uh, that I uh, always follow. That I always watch their videos. They are the guys that got me into uh, vlogging. I would say, uh, not necessarily got me into it, but uh, this is this is who I learned learned it from, honestly. Uh, they're a great bunch of guys. Uh, one day I hope to meet a few of them. Uh, Snow can maybe sooner than later, since I'm not too far away from Calgary anyway. Uh, so hopefully I'll, I'll pop by there every once in a while. This will be directly directly to Snowcat though. Uh, Calgary people, I almost absolutely hate you guys. Maybe it's because I'm from Edmonton, but whatever. Absolutely hate people from Calgary. Freak. Must be from that one experience or whatever, but uh, so the whole story is, um, my buddy had a tough day, tough few weeks of work. He got laid off off of after a great job when the economy tanked, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna cheer my buddy up. He's a good friend of mine. Let's go on a trip. So he got up at like 8 a.m., got food, went to Jasper, uh, drove from Jasper, then Jasper went up to, went on top of the mountain, whatever, chilled there for a bit. Then we drove to Banff, <laughs> a ridiculous. Uh, I wouldn't say ridiculous speeds. We had a, we had a, we kept it within the speed limit, but every once in a while, he'd open the car up every once in a while. Drove to Ban, stayed at Ban for a little bit for like a few hours. Then we drove to Calgary. And we're like, you know what? I really want to get this uh, peace driving burger. And my old car didn't have a GPS, so I was like, uh, I was like, you know what? I, I gotta find this place. But you know, I never knew it was called Peace Driving. I just knew it was some kind of good burger place. It was like they're one of the best big burger places that everybody comes here to try. It was Peace Driving. And their burgers are delicious. If you ever go to Calgary, go to Peace Driving. Some people might hate it, but I love their burgers. The burgers are great, their milkshakes are great. Everything about there is great. But so we went there, we went, we stopped at a shell. Uh, and we filled up on gas, and we were in, we walked in, and I was like, got some snacks. We're like, hey, uh, we actually wanna, I got, got a question, you know, just uh, passing through Calgary, and uh, I wanna stop at this, burger place which is like on some main street whatever and then we told the guy you know we want to stop this burger place uh but i have no idea where it is or what it's called or how to get there and the guy's like oh uh, you're talking about like peace driving i'm like yeah 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 that, that's what it is like you know i'm not from here so i have no idea where, where it's from so the guy asks us like where are you from and we're like oh yeah we're from edmonton so the guy tells us like yeah you know you just gotta go uh, just go onto the highway here uh keep going a bit more south and you'll see like uh 16th ave uh, southwest uh, you'll see Northwest first, and you'll see Southwest. 
uh, and then you take a take an exit off that it's right on that road like okay awesome perfect thanks so much man you know we're heading off and uh, we were already past 16th Ave Northwest big time we we're close to like uh, we're pretty close to south, south of Calgary so I was like okay hey, cool whatever I think this guy knows what he's talking about you know what he seemed like he was a nice guy so we started driving we're going we're going we're like where is it 16th Ave Southwest it said 16 Ave, okay, cool. I was like, it didn't, it didn't say 16 Ave, it said something else. I was like, where's this place? We just kept driving, driving. And we're like, we got out of Calgary, we're like, mother, this guy gave us complete BS directions, complete bullshit directions to this burger place, uh, which pretty much took us out of the city and goes to Edmonton. So we're like, screw it. I hate Calgary people from then on. Uh, but I'm not saying all Calgary people are like that. Uh, well, uh, I went to Calgary again with my with uh, one of my good friends who was who was a boss of mine as well at work, and I met some of his friends. They were all they were really nice people. They showed us around the city, uh, took us to good food places, great great bunch of people. Uh, and you know, I will I will admit that there's a lot of bad drivers there though too. And plus, Snowcat, if you do come to Edmonton, oh, there's a lot of bad drivers here too. No doubt about it. There's a lot of terrible drivers. So be forewarned. A lot of pickup trucks with freaking HIDs would blind you at every single moment when you look. So that's one of the reasons I got uh, a GoPro as well. You can double as a dash cam as well. So if an accident happens or whatever, if I catch something, whatever, it's it's gonna be a video. It's even like the first video I posted. Uh, there was uh, I caught three things: a guy running a red light, red light, perfectly standing next to me. He just so he's kind of like, oh, you know, it's red light. I'm gonna go and turn left. Okay, cool on that red light and a girl ran a stop sign right in front of me going like uh, uh, across traffic in, towards me and then woman cut me off pretty damn hard I had to uh, the GoPro might not show this that well but I had to slam my brakes and uh, hit the horn pretty hard uh, so that that should be on that first video as well so first time I got a GoPro I caught three bad things so that's pretty crazy but that's, uh, I think that's everywhere. Everywhere has got pretty bad drivers nowadays. God damn, this traffic sucks. I hate traffic, man. Well, whatever. But yeah, anyways, you know, I'm gonna end this video off for now. Uh, it's probably getting a little bit uh, long. I'm sure you guys don't want to be, don't want to hear me chatting for hours on end. Uh, about random shit I uh, hopefully we'll come prepared with a better story next time but anyways for now there you guys make sure to like subscribe comment on the video this will definitely help me lots and get my youtube channel started a little bit uh, and please the more feedback the better uh, take it easy guys